all right so now let's go ahead and handle update password so whenever you forget password we need to send the password reset link and then from the email user can reset the password so we need to create api endpoint for that so in case of api it is slightly different whenever you send email link you need to redirect user to your front-end client and from there you need to make the post request to this update password so for uh, for this we need two post methods or sorry post routes api endpoints let's go ahead and create them so let's go ahead and go to first let's go to api.php where we define our api routes related to that first we need forget password so so first we need forget password to send the password reset link or you can say reset password link route name you can put according to your need so this endpoint for that we need a new password controller let's go ahead and create that all right so let's create this inside api folder new password controller so i've already run that command and it is created inside api new password controller and in this controller we have forgot password method which will handle which will send the password reset link so let's go ahead and see the code for that first we are uh, so this endpoint requires a valid email address and we are just validating that and we are then just sending the password reset link so this is all default authentication so i have taken this code from so i've studied the laravel breach code and from there i have implemented all these with all best practice so password reset link we're sending password reset link to this and then we're checking every status is so request link is successfully sent then we are just returning that status otherwise all the validation exception we are throwing this ex exception and we are catching we'll catch that in front end so that's it uh, about pass forget password sending password reset link so let's go ahead and hit that endpoint with our registered email which is webdev at the rate gmail okay so we want to reset the password for this user let's send this so there is one catch the catch is for api endpoint let's go to let's go to user.php and if you see i have overwritten the send password reset notification method supplied by laravel so otherwise laravel will send its default email with uh, default routes so default web route but for our api we need a separate route so for that you need to just go to user and override this method so i put this beforehand just to save some time send password reset notification and then you will get the token so this token is supplied by laravel you just need to override this and we need we put the url of our front end client here all right so i'm just hard coding this uh, in if you are supporting different apis or if your user has that ability to configure their front end client so you can create one interface or you can save this url in user model then you can get from here client base url like so so this means the user object and you can just put this instead of hard coding hard coding this all right so in our front end client we will have a route or some way for authenticating user sorry some way for showing the form where user can reset the password so in case of sp you can do like this or in case of any other application so according to your need you can configure this 
uh, method you can for mobile you can just uh, do it in other server or in same server you can do uh, you don't need to override this and you need to have method if you have control over this application so this is all configuration step you need to create this notification let's go ahead and create that php artisan make notification so my laptop is uh, getting a bit slower due to the heat so we need to create this reset password notification so once that is created let's open that up here we go and here we we have to configure a bit so we need to put this string url which will be supplying from our user model and then in notification class just first line forgot password click, click to reset and we'll supply that url and thank you for your using our application you can configure it the way you want so url will be sending from here that's it so now we have our custom made url for that so by the way if you want to know more you have this uh, page reset password resetting password here every every step is explained in detail you can refer to it all right so once that is done let's go ahead and test this out let's go and try to change the password for that first we need to send the post request so so this might we we'll, we might be sending it from our front end client where we will show the form for resetting password um, by the way before sending this we need to configure our email so if you are just testing you can just do log if you go to dot env and mail you can just do log then you'll get email in laravel log file inside storage otherwise you can just do smtp i use mail trap for this kind of thing just testing email out and from here you can sign up for mail trap free and just go to laravel 7 plus and just copy over all this and yeah, just replace up to here so you'll need this from address any address you can put and from name these two and this you can replace from mail trap and once you are done with that configuration you can send email sorry reset email okay so let's go ahead and try this out once more okay so we have emailed your password reset link let's go ahead and check to mail trap few seconds ago we get the reset link and here is our custom link here is uh, the link that we passed and we're passing the token the only thing that you need is this token you can pass it either way you can pass to any url you want in for in case in our case uh, i'm assuming that we have some front-end client application made in view react or any application and then we'll just show the form to user and we'll use this token and you'll we'll use this token to reset our password which we'll do next so this step is to get the link to reset password and after we get the link we need to actually update the password so let's go ahead and create this endpoint go to vs code api.php next route is the post route reset password and this will be handled by reset method on our new api new password controller so here we go we have the reset method so this method requires these fields that we need to pass from our front-end client token that we just get in email and then email address and then password that you want to change so this requires two field password and password confirmation field and then it will do all the stuff for resetting password then fire up event and give us the response and if something went wrong we give 500 otherwise this successful response all right so 
I will supply this code in GitHub link. You can study that uh, or you can directly use this for your own API. So let's go ahead and hit that endpoint API reset password with the just got token. Let's go, go ahead and copy this token. So since we are using this coin, let, let me open this up. So you can click here as well. Same thing, we'll get this token. Just copy this token and we'll pass we'll pass that token and email our email address is what that at the rate gmail.com. So suppose if there is a different email address, let's see if uh, there is validation message or not. There you go. So Laravel is handling all this. We can find user with that email address. So we need to supply the valid email address and then we change the password, password to password to. So let's send this again. Okay, password reset success. Let's go ahead and try to log in with our new password. So let's go ahead and try to log in. So email is same. Uh, if you try to log in with old password, let's see what happens. Okay, invalid. Now let's supply pass new password. There you go. Logged in. And then we get the token. So there is one more thing we need to handle because uh, since we changed our password, but if we go and see, we have this old token, that old token is still valid. So you might want to do that or you might not want to do that because you need to change, you have changed the password. So you might want to deactivate all the old uh, tokens. So currently that is unauthenticated. So to deactivate old token, what you can do here is whenever password reset is successful, here you can just grab the user and you can all, you can just delete the token that we do in our logout method. All right, out controller. So in logout method, we have deleted all tokens. So once password is reset successfully, you can do this new password controller future like so sorry you can do it here scrap the user tokens delete All right, so after adding that, I have sent the reset notification again, reset link, and then I have the updated password to new password, 22, success. And then if we try to access the user data with old bearer token, it is saying unauthenticated. All right, so that is working as well. So this is how we handle the password reset API using password reset API endpoints. So hope you learned something out of this video. Next we'll handle the email verification API.